Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here in this video, I'll be doing a how to break in a brush. I know I've been getting a couple requests to do this, so I was like, why not? I'm gonna just do it. And yeah, do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, do not forget to turn on the bell so you're notified every time I upload. As well, do not forget to check out the description for any of my social media. Any discount codes that I have available available will be linked down in the description as well. And yeah, let's get on with the video. Okay, so I do want to show you guys the brush that I currently have right now and it is from Nestle Play Glamour. I get a lot a lot of questions asking what brush do I use, what number do I use. So this is the brush that I use. This is a number 10 Nestle Play Glamour brush. And as you can see it's so dirty and ugly which I need to clean. Um but you know this is reality. And this is what it looks like. As you could see my brush right now I have little hairs going like out and not like in straight if that makes if that makes sense. So when that starts to happen, it either means you're not taking care of your brush, um, the way that you're um, cleaning of it. So I did notice that it started happening this because I would say maybe a couple days ago or like a week ago, um, I didn't clean my brush. Um, and yeah, this is what happens when you don't clean your brush. So, but I have been using it, like I used it today, so... This is what it looks like. It's, the hairs are just out, but this is a number 10 brush. Obviously, you can't really see because all the wording is out, but you can kind of see. It is a Kalinsky brush, and you can see a little bit of their website. And it is a clear handle one, so as you can see, it's really, really dirty. But, yeah, this is the current brush I'm currently using, but I did want to break in a new brush, which I don't know you which one I'm going to break in. But these are the brushes that have been just sitting because I haven't opened them. So first up, let me show you guys. First up, I have this Nail Supply Glamour number 10 brush. And this was $12. This Kalinsky brush. And this is what it looks like. You can kind of see I, the light has a glare. But this is what it looks like. And then I also do have these two brushes, which... If you guys watch my hauls, these I purchased from AliExpress. So I believe this one on the right is a number 10 and this one on the left is a number 2. So this is what they look like. And they just have like this really pretty glitter. So I kind of want to open these two and then just leave this one. Um, And just leave it still in its container so i am going to open the number 10 brush first and one thing i do want to say is that if you're gonna if you bought a brush and you're a beginner and it's your first brush do not do not do not store it back in here as soon as you take everything as, as soon as you take this plastic thing off you want to make sure you dispose of it because it is really bad for the brush because if you leave monomer on it um if i can't even open it if you leave monomer on it um it will like burn through the plastic so this is what it looks like it is so pretty i love the glitter in it it's like a iridescent holographic purple blue glitter that it has inside so another thing is as soon as um you get on a brush obviously you want to dispose of this as well. You do not want to put this back on because then you will ruin the brush hairs. And that's one thing you do not want to do because then you won't be able to like use it as good as its quality if that makes sense. So this is what it looks like. And I did notice just right now that these brushes aren't pinched. Now that's another thing I do want to talk about. Whenever you get a brush, um, it might come pinched. It might not. It just depends where you get it from. So I just noticed that these didn't come pinched, so I'm going to definitely have to pinch them. So as you can see, when I mean pinched, I mean this right here. Let me put them side by side. Um, so as you can see, mine has like a little line right there. And if I turn it, it goes in right here. As you can see, it goes in, it goes straight, and then in, it goes back out. So it's one thing you need to do to your brush, because if you don't... Um, Whenever you leave monomer or liquid, whatever, in it, 
it's just gonna keep going down and like at some point this part is gonna come off from here so that's one major thing you want to do to your brush is pinch it and mine's not fully fully pinched but I still pinched enough where it's pinched but you do really do want to pinch it but also you do not want to pinch it like super thin because then um, it's gonna loosen up the hairs so I am gonna take off um, the plastic and as soon as you take this off you want to dispose of it so I am gonna throw um, these containers away And this is what the brush is looking like. So I just want to compare it to this one. So one thing I will say, this one is much longer. As you can see, but if I put it like right here, it is the same length going like up, like from here to here. As you can see, it is the same length. But I'm guessing it's just because it has this little extra thing at the bottom, but... I mean, other than that, it's kind of the same, but, you know, it's still a brush. So, now, whenever you have a brand new brush, you always want to make sure it's always going to come like this. And, like, where is it looks round and oval or whatever. Um, I'm not quite, quite sure on the terms, so just bear with me, but... Um, one thing you do want to do as soon as you take off the, the plastic and the packaging and dispose of it, you want to softly, softly, softly start applying pressure on it. So as you can see, it is stiff. So, just aside, I do already have my napkin. And what you want to do to the brush is just gently, gently, gently apply pressure to it on a paper towel. So as you can see, it's like really, really hard. But you want to be very careful and not like, you know, just break it. But it is really, really hard. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, you hear that? So I just broke it in. So that's what it means when, like, when you're breaking a brush. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So I'm gently just, you know, moving it and trying to, like, open it up. And you just gently want to go through it with your fingers. And do this. Now, some brushes, I do know that they have starch in them, or it just depends, but I don't know if you guys can see the little, those little, like, um, white particles, I don't know if you guys can see them, they're, like, really small, but... You just want to like flicker the brush so that way you could take out the starch. Or you could just simply do this on a paper towel and like roll it however you want to do it. This is another thing that I do, it's just with my finger. Do that. As you can see, I don't think these had any starch in them. Well, actually they did because I did see some of the white stuff. But one thing I am noticing like off the bat, this is a really, really small brush. This is, to me, this is probably like a number 8. I don't know what I order. I think I order number 10. But as you can see, my brushes are flat. That's how I like my brushes. So you can either have your brushes round, oval, or flat, whatever uh, works better for you. So, um, I like my brushes flat, and like I said, you could just keep doing that on a paper towel. 
and you're just with your fingers flickering it like this. And one thing I did did learn from um what's her name? from Natalie Carmona, also known as Genel32 on here on YouTube, is that whenever you're using a brush, make sure that you're using it on a flat side. Um whenever it has wording. So as you can see, this one doesn't have wording. But whenever I do go in and pinch it, whatever side is pinched, like this, whatever side is pinched, I know that that will be my front side. If that makes sense, whenever I pick up a bead or whatever, so it would be like that. And never on the side, if that makes sense. Don't ever pick up a bead like this because your brush, however you do your brush, it's going to, you know, just mess it up. So you do not want to do that at all. But yeah, once you're done taking out the starch, what you want to do is um, start to shape your brush however you want it. So I obviously, I like I said, I like my brushes flat. And what you want to do to shape your brush is just use some warm water. So right here, I have my little dish with water with warm water um so that way you don't damage your brush what i'm going to do is just dip it in and look you see all the bubbles that came out that's literally all i'm gonna do and you want to gently do this so I don't, you see there's still like i don't know if you guys can see that like little stuff coming out so that's what I mean whenever you have starch in it. I feel so weird with this brush, y'all. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. So like I said, I obviously I am going to pinch the brush. So I'm probably going to have it right here since, as you can see, my brush is like that. So this is really small. I could have... I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm going to have it looking a little like that, a little, a little less. But when I have it pinched... And you just want to gently clean it on the napkin. You can mess with it with your fingers and such. So like I said, you could do it round like so. So you just want to round your brush in like little circles to have your brush round. Or if you want it flat, like you see all the bubbles that came out again. So you just want to keep doing this until um, you don't see anything else coming out. So nothing else is really coming out. So what I'm going to do is just gently kind of start to shape it how I want it. I'm going to just use my fingers and for right now, I think I'm going to just leave it like this. Because like I said, I thought like to me, the brush isn't really all that fluffy. I feel like this is more like for like a round brush, but I don't know. But I am going to leave it a little bit flat. I don't want it round because that's not what I'm used to. So I definitely suggest to do whatever you're used to. Make sure that um, if this is like your first time breaking in a brush, um, definitely just do whatever works best for you. You could do different things. You could always um, make it round and then um, make it flat, however you want. So that's what's gonna. This is what this is what mine's looking like. And yeah, I am going to be leaving it like this. So once you're done shaping however you want your brush, you're just going to let it dry. And then you will be good for a use after. But I definitely suggest to pinch your brush before you use it with monomer. So while that, this one's drying, I'll just leave it here on the side. Well, that one's are drying. 
and I'm going to be doing the same thing to this number two brush. So I'm definitely excited to see um how okay, my how this how these brushes work. Um I just dropped a little plastic. So I cannot wait to use these brushes to see how they work, if they're good quality and such. So definitely stay tuned. Because, oh man, I just messed up. I just messed up. I just messed up. I just messed up. That's what not to do. So I'm going to just try it and then... Kind of just mess with it. So as you can see, this is a way smaller brush. So I also have a 3D brush, which you see here. Which this brush is also from Nelson by Glamour. This is a number four brush. This is the brand Ofa. And then it has like a darting tilt end. But this is my number four brush. And this is the brush that I use to um do my 3D flowers with. So I'm really excited to use a smaller brush for 3D flowers. Just to see how it works because I believe I am gonna have um, some 3D flowers to do. So after you're done, um, you know, just taking off the starch and messing with it, taking out the starch off, you wanna put it in the warm water. And look at all the bubbles that came out. So the process to break in a brush, I feel like it's really easy. You just, you know, you would have to watch like a video to know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing. But like I said, I will be pinching this one as well. As you can see, my 3D brush is also pinched. Right there it goes in. I do have like a little hairs coming out. But yeah, I'm super super excited. Now this one, my 3D brushes, I do like to have them around as you can see. I try to just so whenever I'm doing 3D flowers or just 3D art, it's way easier than having a flat brush. Cause you do want to pick up um more like um dryer beads. And like more like like really really good beads to do your flowers and especially since they're smaller beads um they have to be good um beads so yeah this is literally all you do and as you can see I'm gonna just leave it like this I'm going one more time And yeah, this is going to be the final brush. So I also did want to compare it to my number four brush. So as you could see, um, these hairs are obviously longer. But I feel like the AliExpress brush has more hairs than this one. I feel like this one's thinner. But... Like we're talking lengthwise, the AliExpress one, the AliExpress one is longer, and then this one obviously has a dotting tool. But honestly, I don't even use a dotting tool unless um I'm doing like if um like adding design to like the little circle in the middle from the petals or stuff like that. So yeah. And what you want to do after this is you want to make sure that you let both of your brushes dry or your one brush, whatever you are breaking in. And also, I also did want to show you guys the, the brush cleaner that I use. And this is the brush cleaner that I'm currently using. If you guys see my last haul, um, as you guys can see, I did purchase this. So I did purchase this no brush cleaner from Nose by Glamour. It is a four fluid ounces and I believe it's $7. Yeah, $7. Um, 
Um, as you can see, I kind of already used it. It's like a little bit more than halfway. It's like two here. So yeah, I have used a bit of it from cleaning my from this brush, cleaning that brush. So I definitely recommend. I have heard that the Tammy Taylor brush cleaner is good as well. And I've also tried the Mia Seeker one. And I actually I actually do like the Mia Seeker one. I just haven't had a chance to get my hands on it. But yeah, I did want to show you guys those products. And that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be linking down below the brushes if anybody's interested on purchasing them. As well as the dabbing dish. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell so you can know notify everything I upload. And as well, do not forget to check out the description for any of my social media, any discount codes that I have available, as well as the products that I showed you guys here in this video. And that is going to be the end of this video. And see you guys in the next one.